So, Championship football is back and Luton returned to Championship football with a 2-1 defeat away against Middlesbrough. It was Rob Edwards' first game in charge of Luton Town and unfortunately it did end in a defeat. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on that defeat and yeah, just dissect what I witnessed um, in both halves. I'll give you guys my pre-match thoughts, half-time thoughts, full-time thoughts. Now... I did get a double whammy um, after watching England also lose against France 2-1. So it wasn't a good day being a Luton and England fan. But we move on. So, yes, regarding Luton, this team selection, um, no surprises there. We've got too many injuries. I, I thought this international break would be a blessing for Luton, but it really hasn't done anything really. Um Players haven't returned back um, and we're really struggling. In January, we really do need to sign defenders, um, especially if we're going to continue playing this free at the back system. We're just struggling. We are massively struggling. We can't play fullbacks at centre-halves because they do stupidity things like what Bell did on the weekend. And it's just going to cost us points. It really is, especially when we take the lead as well in matches. So, yeah, in my opinion, signings need to be made in that January transfer window. But anyway, yeah, team selection, no surprises in my eyes. Though It was the exact same team which MacArthur put out against Rotherham at home. So, the first half, I thought it was a really good first half performance. I thought we were really good in spells. Clark's goal was just unbelievable. The quality from him was just fantastic to beat those players and it was a lovely finish. Probably one of the better goals which we've scored so far this season. Great individual skill. And just to remember, we signed him on a free from Accrington Stanley, which, you know, still can't believe it till this day that we actually signed him on a free transfer. But yeah, that was a great goal. But then we just didn't hold on um, until half time. It was a really poor goal to concede um, by Middlesbrough. They were really good in the transition and they looked like a really good side on Michael Carrick. He's got them really um, playing good football. That Jones, who was playing on the right wing for Middlesbrough, caused us all sorts of problems getting our players booked. And he obviously got um, Amari Bell booked, but he was causing us all sorts of problems. But the goal in itself, um, which Middlesbrough scored, you know, it was a cross into the box and it was just a free header. We made it life so easy for Akpon, who scored the goal. We really needed to do a lot better there. Um, Amari Bell was the closest one to him. Didn't mark him and, you know, needs to take responsibility for that. Should never have a free header in the six-yard box. And unfortunately, we, we did go into the half-time 1-1. Um, Second half, it weren't really the same as the first half. In the first half, we kept the ball quite well. We pressed really well. And you kind of saw a, some differences between Nathan Jones and what Edwards wants to bring in um, in the different um, styles of play. But, yeah, overall, I weren't too happy with the way um, we were playing in the second half, you know, it just, we couldn't keep the ball, um, and we kind of were running out of ideas a little bit, but we still could sneak a goal, it was still, the possibility of that happening was still there, as expected, Millsborough are the home side, so they are going to come at us a little bit more, and that's exactly what they did, so I was, I was kind of expecting that, but I still felt we needed to do a little bit more um, in possession um, of the ball, but then, Unfortunately, stupidity came in by Amari Bell. I'm not Amari Bell's biggest fan since he signed up the club. I had question marks over the signing. Um, for me, I just don't think he's consistent enough. I don't think he's good enough defensively or going forward. He, at times going forward, he gets into these fantastic positions, but he doesn't make the most of them. And unfortunately, you know, it, it's just not consistent. And the sending off, he really has let the team down here because we could have, I felt, if we had 11 players on the pitch, we definitely could have walked away with a point away from home, which I would have happily have taken. But because he did get the sending off, it was Middlesbrough was just going up the gears and a goal was going to happen. You know, it was that simple. A goal was coming and obviously it did come. And what's really more annoying is Amari Bell, he knows that we've got defensive problems at the club at the moment and he just gets sent off, which means we're now another defender short against Millwall, who are a physical team who will be putting crosses into the box. So I'm kind of scared of what could potentially happen against Millwall. I do think Millwall will score from a set piece. and We're not 
not doing well at um, defending set pieces this season. In fact, you know, we obviously conceded another one um, on the weekend. So, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned what could potentially happen next week. But I don't want to be too negative. I do want to keep, I do want to like be positive. But this injury crisis at the moment, it's not Edwards' fault. You know, he's came into the club with an injury crisis. He just needs now to just try and solve that and bring in some players in in January. And hopefully we are identified those players already during this international break. But yeah, Amari Bell, as what I was saying is, I just don't think he's consistent enough. And I'm he's, out of all the Luton players, he frustrates me the most. Um, but let me know what you think about Amari Bell and his performance. And then, obviously, Middlesbrough's second goal, it was a foul in the build-up, but I have to admit, that goal was coming and Middlesbrough did deserve a second goal. Um, so even though it should have, the goal should have been actually, you know, ruled out for a foul on Gabriel Osho in the box, you know, Middlesbrough still should have won the match. You know, they had, they created enough good chances and Crooks obviously got the goal in the end. Disappointment overall, but... We move on um, to next week against Millwall, as I said, which is going to be a very tough game. I am going to that match, which I'm really excited for. So, fingers crossed, obviously, Luton can obviously bring some points. Um, but, yeah, I think the quicker we get some points, quicker Edwards gets his first win as Luton boss, the better things happen, better things become. And, yeah, we need to get over, like, this little period of time. Um, I'm going to start judging Edwards after the January transfer window when he's managed to bring in some players of his own in. Um, and then hopefully we should see his style of football work quite well with the group of players. But in glimpses in the match against Middlesbrough, I did see good performances um, and good spells of what Edwards could potentially do as Luton Town boss. But yeah, overall, yeah, it's disappointing that we've obviously lost against Middlesbrough. Um, but there are a few positives to definitely take from the game. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.